And she's, she's probably like me in some way. She's quite stubborn. <laughs> and, and if she has something that she doesn't want to tell you, she won't tell you. I remember when she was a little child, she'd not to do something. And you ask it, and you, you know, obviously, she's lying. But she'll stick to her story. And she's done that all the way through her life. And when we got the call on um, Christmas Eve that we need to go into SIFS, because you know Grace had been taken away and Aunt Prue was, was there and um, we learned that you know she had, had abandoned her daughter and um, and that she was high on, on pee and, and that sort of thing it was a much much bigger shot than probably it should have been I think it was because I'd been so so intent on trying to help her you know and, and, and helping Grace and, and just trying to support her that I'd, you didn't see what was in front of your eyes because you were so concerned about um, fixing the symptoms that you didn't see what the cause was. We were terribly naive about the drug and mm. um, we didn't know the signs and so forth so you know we really didn't click onto it first of all. And I think also because we'd had discussions with the kids as, as teenagers around you know drinks and drugs and that sort of thing and, and, and both of them were like not interested not going to do this you know. We thought she was on a good path you know we didn't have any sense that there were any She's... problems. Um, must have been 2007, so you'd gone, you'd gone through your, your, your brain hemorrhage and you were sort mm. of sitting, getting well, and a couple of times we'd go and pick up Gracie and we'd say, we'd take her to the beach with us for the weekend, and we'd come back and Prue wasn't there, or she, she, you couldn't get into the house, or she, you, you'd try and get hold of her and, and all the curtains were drawn for a long time. And I was starting to get quite worried about, you know, more about the little girl than, you know, than Prue, to be honest. On the surface it looked all right, but it, it just wasn't. And um, I was I was seriously worried. And, and to be honest, I thought it was going it was going really, really pear-shaped. And I did challenge her a couple of times. I said, Prue, I think you're taking drugs. No, absolutely not. And, and no, 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 you know. And, and the more I, I tried to say to her, I'm really worried, I think you were doing this, she was like, lie, lie, lie. And, and, and suddenly you, you start noticing things like the skin was getting bad. She would, I mean, she looked like rubbish, and she's a beautiful girl, and you know, scabs and hollow, you know, and getting thin and greedy, you know, just no care about her appearance. I thought this isn't good. I'm the softy of the family, really, compared to um, well, we're both pretty <laughs> soft, but you know, uh, we I'll, are pretty indulgent with our kids. Yeah, and um, so all I'll try and do is try and fix it, but then I'd get cross because I can't fix it and frustrated. And uh, it was a time where we'd spark off a, a, against each other because of the frustration that was there. You know, I wanted her to be normal again, be a, a loving daughter, because underneath it all, she is a lovely daughter. The shame I felt about what my daughter had done to her daughter, how she, you know, to me, utterly, utterly failed as a mother because she didn't put her child's needs in front of hers. Um, and, and, and how embarrassed I was to be, you know, at SIFS trying to get my, my granddaughter. I mean, it was a, it was the lowest moment in my life, I think. People say, well, what's wrong? What's happening in your life? And you say, well, actually, this is what's happening in my life. And, and you need to understand that I'm dealing with a daughter mm. who's drug addicted and I'm raising my granddaughter and, you know, all of these things. And, do you know, it was so liberating to, be able to, to, to make the decision to talk about it. She's allowed to have the harder emotions, but... We're not allowed to express anger or, or anything, you know, it's, it's, she, she controls it. And so it's very hard for us because, you know, we can't say to her, actually, Prue, you completely fucked up our lives for three years. There's an underlying special aspect about Prue that is um, very heartwarming and that, that really broke my heart to see that cold, her becoming cold and hard and distant.